Yeah, it's difficult. I, I don't know when you when you portray an actor and you interpret dialogue and you play the character and all that. I think you know a lot of it will 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 come out. A lot of your own character will come out. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, yeah, he's probably as pissed off and as grumpy as I can get. Certainly, and selfish. You're selfish too. Um, pretty brilliant horse rider and slightly. Sort of has some of his alcoholism. Um, there's a lot of things. He's in great shape, isn't he? Maybe that's another thing. I don't know. It's hard. I can't really separate him. I don't really know anymore. He's probably a better person than I am. <laughs> I don't know if I dislike any traits. It's hard to pick out something to go. That's that's not what I like about you. Everything together makes him Ross. You know, there's there's things that are frustrating. Like he's not good really. At, He's not good at um. I, he could make life easier on himself. I think if he was more friendly to some people, you know, if he could sort of capitulate in situations and be friendly to like the George Warleggins of the world, and he could be a more wealthy man, and he could he could help the people that he wants to help in 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 a truer way, I guess. Um, so he doesn't. He's he's um, yeah. I don't know if there's anything I don't like about Ross. Everything sort of works together. There's a real cycle to to all of his. To his entire disposition that I quite admire, so nothing. I like it, I like it all. He's got a lot of traits I admire. Um, he's, he's, his moral compass is certainly in the right place. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, he, I think his, like his, his sort of default position is to help people, which uh, I think is very admirable and, and, and quite a noble thing. Um, but he's not, he's also, he's not just this like benevolent saintly character, like he's not just a do-gooder, you know, he's also like, he's a bit of a badass and um, <laughs> he's, uh, and he's, and he's grumpy and, and he's sort of, he's, he's sort of introverted and, and he's, he can be a bit selfish. He's got a lot of traits that I admire. It's not just all the good ones. I mean, some of the bad ones balance off the good ones. He likes, he drinks a lot of brandy and, and then jumps on a horse and goes galloping. I mean, I have a respect for anybody who does that. That's, that's, that's quite a thing. Um, and he seems like he's pretty decent in a fight as well. Kind of has a kind of hates authority, um, and and has yeah, he's good taste in women. It seems so. Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the, I haven't read the script yet. Um, I've read the books, um, but Debbie Horsfield is an incredible writer, and I think we're um, I think we'll expect something very very exciting. Um, the books are incredible and, and the story is out there so people kind of know it's not like the spoilers that I can give away um, there's a lot of story Winston Graham writes so well for characters um, and where these characters go in the second series is is really exciting um, so yeah I mean I'm not nervous it'll be it'll be certainly just as good I mean I expect it to be a lot better than than the first series even you know because we've already established these characters and who they are and where they're coming from and let's just see where they go um, yeah, so apart from that, I probably can't say anymore because I haven't read it yet, but um, I expect great things. <laughs> yeah, um, there's, been, there's been a lot of interest in my birthday, uh, like there has for the last couple of years with, with my amazing fan base. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for the gifts and, and for, the, for the, the well wishes and, and the best wishes and, and all of those kind of things. Um, I don't know what to say. It's really flattering and, and I'm humbled by it. And, uh, and I appreciate all your support and your love. Uh, and thank you, thank you very much. I'm turning 32. I can't believe it. Mm.